Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. You know, I feel good when I hear this song. Looking, you know, at where we are coming from and where we are going. Hmm. Even before I entered the church, I was praying the same song in my office. Standing here for me is a miracle. Mm -hmm. For me to stand here this morning is a miracle. Yes. Because of what is going on, what is happening with this flesh. It is a miracle. Mm -hmm. That's why I enjoy this song. Sometimes I look at you the way you dance. No one is dancing. Mm? <laughs> Thank you, Lusaka people. We welcome you to our live service this morning. We appreciate your support and your love. Thank you so much. Continue watching Promise TV. We are praying for you. We are there and you are here. Even those who are watching us through YouTube and Facebook. We appreciate your effort and your time. We will not disappoint you. You will be proud of this land. What will come out of this land will make you to be proud to say yes. I was part and parcel of this foundation. That's why today we are what we are. I want to introduce another a simple and short message. You know, Jesus was a man of few words, but his word was always, you know, pregnant with answers. Do you know that we enjoy titles more than his power? But as a child of God, you need to enjoy his power, not the title. Because title is powerless. If you carry power, you control your enemy. You control everything. I'll never, never stop talking about this because I know that the kingdom of God is all about power. It is not all about history. No, it is all about what? Power. If you enjoy power, I mean his presence, you control your enemy. But if you enjoy the title, you become the cupboard of problems. Satan, I'll bring this one inside in your body. You go and collect this problem, you will inside in your body. Because title is powerless and is nothing. There are people who are calling very big title, but spiritually, they are babies. A baby, spiritually, they are what? But if you look at their titles and the honor and the respect that you give physically, you may think that even spiritually it's the same thing. No. You enjoy the title. You are not enjoying its power. There you cannot control anything. Let me take you to the book of Second Kings. I hope and trust God to give me the grace to explain this to you. Slow but sure. Our viewers, please let us know where you are watching us. Indicate the place where you are so that we know exactly that oh, you are in that town. You too, you are part of this service. Whatever we are going to receive here, you will receive your own in that house. In Jesus' name. Are you there in Second Kings chapter 6? Verse 8. Now the king of Aram was at war with Israel. After conferring with his officers, he said, I will set up my camp in such and such places. 9. The man of God sent a word to the king of Israel. Beware of passing that place because the Armenians are going down there. Ten. So the king of Israel checked on the places indicated by the man of God. 
Time and again, Elisha warned the king so that he was on his guard in such places. This made the king of Aram summon his officers and demanded of them, tell me, which of us on the, which of us on the side of the king of Israel? In short, the king is now asking his people, because what used to happen is this, whatever plan the king of, you know, Aram was planning against Israel, the word, you know, will come to Elisha. And Elisha will go and tell the king to say, this is what your enemy is planning to do. So each and every time this king of Armenians plan to attack Israel or ambush Israel, Elisha would deliver a message in advance to say, King, be careful. Your enemy is at work. They want to use that place to attack you. This is now what made the king of Armenians to summon his people to say, who is on the side of Israel? Because whatever we are planning here, the king of Israel is aware that we are about to do this. Who is on the side of these people? Listen to this. This is why I've entitled this short message. Enjoy the presence of God more than the title that you carry. Because it is only the power of God that can defend you and fight for you. You control your enemy. Are you there, people of God? Verse 11. This made the king of Armenians he summoned his officers and demanded of them, who is on the side, which one of, on the side of the king of Israel? Now, verse 12, none of us, my lord. This is the answer from his officials. The king said to one of his officers, but Elisha the prophet is in Israel. Tells the king of Israel, the very words you speak, in your bedroom. I don't know if my readings is collect to you. If you have got your own Bible, you can read it by yourself. None of us, my Lord, the king said to one of his officers, but Elisha the prophet who is in Israel tells the king of Israel every words you speak in your bedroom. Who can enter your bedroom and you are not aware? that someone is in your bedroom, the power of God. Can your title enter the bedroom of your enemy? No, it is what? When the enemy is planning evil things against the child of God, the spirit of God is there. And once they, you know, they planned and concluded to say, this is the way we are going to attack it, then the spirit of God will carry the message to say, this is the plan. Don't go to that wedding. They are going to poison you. Even if it is your son or your daughter, your niece, your nephew, don't go there. It doesn't mean that God cannot protect you in that condition. No. He knows the reason why he's telling you you should not go there. But listen to this now. Verse 13. Go and find out where he is. This is the king now giving instruction to his officers. Go and find out where he is. Meaning, prophet Elisha must be found. Because he is the one who is linking our information to the king of Israel. Meaning, if you find him, arrest him. The king ordered, so I can send men and capture him. The report came back. He is in Dutton. I mean, Dutton. After sending his people, you know, you are a president. Kings in those days were like what? Presidents. He sent his people, they, you know, the intelligence went all over the, the, the city. They say, oh, he's in this, uh, this is his house. So the man is finished. The man is what? Okay, we have seen the house. Yes, okay, make sure he's, yes, it's this house. Okay, let's go and tell the king. They went back to the king. King, we have found the place of the man you are looking for. 
Listen to this now. Learn a lesson. Don't trust numbers. Don't trust the title that you carry. Enjoy the power of God more than the title you are carrying all over. Verse 14. Then he sent horses and chariots and a strong force there. They went by night and surrounded the city. Just for one man. That all night they surrounded what? The city. Fifteen. When the servant of the man of God got up and went outside early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord. What shall we do? The servant asked. This is the servant of the man of God, Elisha, who went outside. And immediately he got outside. He saw soldiers surrounded the city. Then he went back to his master. He said, we are finished. We are what? We are finished, my master. He reported the case according to what he saw. And he knew that once you are surrounded by this type of people, your hand has come. He knew that they are capable of destroying people's life. They are capable of damaging everything. The man of God was inside. He was enjoying the power of God. When the power of God is upon your life, you see things beyond your bedroom. You even know your enemies and their plans. This is why someone who can hear from above has no enemy. They don't even revenge. They don't even panic. They know the outcome of that, you know, crisis. He was inside. Then the servant went to say, Master, listen to verse 16. Don't be afraid. The prophet answered, Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Don't be what? Abo to the Nabo. When you could chill over the Nabo, Elonish Murifiavanga. Ah, you are not hearing me. Murifiavanga, Elon Muntuakueva, Chobo to the Nabo. When you could chill over Quete. You are a man in the flesh. You are a woman in the flesh. You cannot see beyond your nose. You look at your master and you say, He doesn't know what he's talking about. Ndemu show you, Vesuva Musangeka. Because you are a blind person. You are not enjoying the power of God. You enjoy the title. You are a servant of the prophet. You enjoy that title. To say, I move with, you know, the prophet. Wherever he goes, I'm there. And yet, you knew nothing about his life. You knew nothing about his life. Prophet of God. Or believers or children of God, they are not scared of anything that can fight the flesh. That can only fight what? The flesh. And they cannot fight what? The spirit. They are not scared. They are not scared. The reason why you see the church in our time treated like a crab, we are not enjoying the power of God. We enjoy titles. And church names. The years that church has been there, that's what we enjoy. That is wrong. You need to enjoy his power, not the title. Listen to this again. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. 17. And Elisha prayed. Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. He may what? The Bible says that then the Lord opened the eyes of the servant. And he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire. Oh, surrounded who? Surrounded who? Put your name there. Hmm? Surrounded who? 
Before, before his eyes opened, he could only see his master. But when he goes outside, he saw soldiers all over the city said, oh, we are finished. Do you know that even if you know you are a small boy, a small girl, you are a mother or father, you are an elderly man, the power of God does not know age. The power of God does not know what? Age. You enjoy the power of God and you control the system of your life. Sometimes even in marriage, if truly you know Jesus and Jesus knows you and you know that your husband moves a lot and whenever he goes with money, you come back empty-handed. There's no need for you to come from your work. That is wrong, you know. You are fighting a long battle. The more you are doing that, you are chasing that man away from you. You are even now killing the affection in the house. But if you go inside your bedroom, like Elisha, and you ask your father to say, my husband is about to go. In short, you are reporting his case to say, the enemy want to take him away from here so that they can, you know, go and squander all his money. Just after eating or sitting, he will sleep there. He will do what? He will sleep and he starts snoring. Do you know what you do now? You just carry him. Let's go to the bedroom. You show him uh, sleep here. He will sleep. By the time you know it's, uh, it's already uh, 0, 02 or zero 03. That is Jesus for you. And like a situation whereby you are trying to use something evil is behind your family or your house. You too, you want to use the flesh to fight that one. You cannot. Look at Elisha. If you are a child of God, you enjoy his power by making sure that you control everything that has to do with your life. Come on, children of God. Listen to this. As the enemy came down, this is now the enemy coming down to who? To Elisha, to arrest him. This is not new to you and me as Christians. We read the Bible every day. But the way we use the Bible matters. Bible is not history. It's life. It is weapon to fight spiritual battle. It is weapon to make you live peacefully and joyfully. You cannot live peacefully here on earth without his presence. Even if you know Tamungobu or Watamutukana, as long as you are here on earth, that is the only crime you have committed. Listen to this. I hope you are there. Verse 18. As the enemy came down towards him, Elisha prayed to the Lord, strike this army with blindness. So he strike them with blindness. As Elisha had asked, what type of prayer do you offer when you are in a situation like this one? Where you know that in the family someone is a witch or a wizard, confirmed by the Holy Spirit, not because of his face or his age, no. The Spirit of God ministered to say, this one is a wizard or a, 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 a witch. What type of prayer do you offer? Is it a prayer of fear? Or a prayer of doubt? Soldiers are coming towards the man of God to arrest him and take him to the king. And you know what will be the next for this man. Then Elisha prayed to God to say, strike this army with what? Blindness. And God answered him immediately. All the soldiers became what? Blind. Hmm. You are not getting this, you know, clearly. All the soldiers became what? Did he fast? He just prayed because he was in that, you know, relationship with God. Elisha was enjoying the power of God. He cannot move without the power of God. He cannot talk without the power of God. 
He became the power of God. All the soldiers became blind. Listen to what you can do to your enemy now. Verse 19. Elisha told them, this is not the Lord, and this is not the city. Follow me, and I will lead you to the man you are looking for. And he led them into what? Samaria, people of God. Is it normal that you as a soldier, you are trained to be a soldier, and you know how to do your job, just, you know, a, 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 a mere word from the person that you don't know to say, okay, follow me, let me show you to the seat and the man you are looking for. Who can do that? Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Yahweh. When he is fighting for his people, he will make your enemies to lose their memories. He will make your enemies not to think about what they are there for. Instead of them to do what they are there for, they will start now listening to your voice. You start now telling them what to do. Because God Almighty will take over your voice and start now, you know, dilating them. God decide. Because God wants every man's heart. Ah. You are a soldier. I you know there are soldiers inside the police officers, inside the church. You know when you go for that job, no one can tell you what to do. You are receiving that person who tried to interfere. But in this case, the man of God said, come on. <laughs> uh, I know the person you are looking for. Uh, uh, and the seat where he is, follow me. You start following that person, you don't even know. You don't even ask him, who are you? Who sent you? How do you know that we are looking for this person? Their memories are already what? Gone. It is the power of God at work. Because let's say muntu. If you move at party with your wife, but a party with your wife, let's say I cut off a power on when you pan is washima. Now, what a kawanga. Now, what is Ulea Mukulo Omana Wakwalesa? Who is Shivalesa? Um, Fakudilesa? Quickala second of Kusekebe. Ah, ah. So balesa kuri nene nkola. Tabai shwati na kuata yesu. Bese mkuru ishe nkola na yesu. Let me see. Come. Come. Because you know where you are standing. And you know who is behind you. The man said follow me. And they started following him. Instead of arresting Elisha. They started following the man they followed to arrest. I have never seen. Any man here on earth. Who can do that in your life? Only Jesus. Yeah. Only who? Jesus. If you enjoy the power of God, you control everything. Simple. There is no one in Okui Maziro too. I put fire. I say fire. Which fire are you talking about? You are not even carrying fire. You have never seen fire you yourself. What fire are you planting? Hmm? You are planting fear. It is what? You can just pray to say, Lord, this is a no-fly zone area. In Jesus' name. Simple. But if you start, I say fire. I say fire. Who told you that? Seven Nine Ten Twenty-four hours. Akaswa if you enjoy the power of God, you know everything. You do what? Sometimes people will give you money. Like in my case, you give me money. Immediately I receive your money. The spirit of God will mean to me, don't use this money. Give this money to someone. I say, ah, but I need money. Yes, but give it to someone. I'll do that. Why? He is my eyes and my ears. 
That is what can make you to defeat your what? Your enemy. They know how to capture the flesh, but they don't know how to capture the Holy Spirit. If the Spirit of God is in you, you are in control. To say, Father, I am here. As long as I'm here, you are here. Be in charge. Simple. If the Satan is to shake you, you enjoy the power of God. It is him or her who should complain to say, Ha, I made a mistake to greet that woman. I made a mistake to greet that man. Because you are carrying power. You are carrying what? Power. And you enjoy what? Power. When you are walking, power is what? what? Simple by looking. But spiritually, you are dangerous. That is life in the body of Christ. And like in our time where we, we enjoy titles, this one who carry this title, if you cannot recognize them by their title, hey, they are mad. Taba Pepe, Taba Umfuebuino, not until you say, oh, it's in so and so and so. That's what, hey, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You enjoy titles, but you have no power. Power is what can make you to stand and face tomorrow. Not your title. Nangubami pele chin to so. Naba chichita fimo fimo. Immediately you receive it. Power will be the first to dismantle the power they put on that things. When you are receiving, you are receiving something sanctified already. There is one to be worried. No, bayama te waku posha muminwe, bari washimika. Kuba posha, yama murishani. Yama le sale misunga muka monoko alem tuala. What is going to see your success? In those she packed the shika piribuke, she flesh amboku monama kaya kuale samri mu. Ngata mule enda mama kaya kuale satamu akamone pwe nganga ya samuche chuki sa tule fi akubukila. Ngata mule enda mama woko ya kuale tamu akamone pwa ba mumfi fi ba samuche chati ndefua yes. Kaidi tu yakuri vena mukufua ya mak. No, na tu shama pepo. To a faster, but prophet Badishide, to a Biarika city, to a Chitenshi, to a Makaya Kuala Sataya Bamuri city. It is the promise of God that He will give you power so that you can march on snakes and scorpions. And nothing, and not what? Nothing that can harm you. That is the word Jesus gave you. But why are you, you know, using your title? Satana tatina machina ya macheichi. Tatina ma title, whether you are a bishop, you are a reverend, you are an apostle, you are a pastor, evangelist, without the power of God, you are a baby in his hands. Only the power. Only what? Yes. Standing here, the power of God is helping me to stand. Why? This flesh is nothing without what? The power of God. I, it is my prayer. I will not conclude this message. There are so many things we need to learn. God is real. In fact, more than real. More than you. If you are real, know for sure that Jesus is more real. When you call him, you are not calling, you know, something. If it is a fear, no. No. He is not a fear. 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 He is not a Tomorrow you go to the hospital. They are going to tell you your liver is finished. How? No, we are saying that your liver is rotten. We don't know, but uh, you, you are lucky that you, you can even reach this far. And you know that liver is the most energetic organ in the human body. So this is why you see uh, your life is like this. And yet, your liver is fine. The evil power has entered your liver. 
to show the medical personnel that the liver is what? What they are telling you is true. It's what they saw through their machine. But spiritually, it's not like that. If you are calling the power or enjoy the power of God, you respect the word from the doctor. And then you ask your father, Father, they said the liver is rotten. Is it true? Jesus will tell that, no, your liver is not rotten. You go back to the doctor again. You let him go and examine you. They will discover that your liver is what? It's fine. People of God, I, I find it very difficult. Very difficult to identify true believers without the power of God. Preaching the word of God, anyone can preach. Anyone, even a, a, a drunkard can preach. There are people who are preaching all over. Some of them after finishing preaching, you find them drinking beer. One day I was passing somewhere. Then uh, two uh, brothers were talking. I saw a man with a jacket and a tie. Uh, then the other one said, <laughs> Waka manaka pasta kati kari koro kari shana mairo. I was there. I said, oh God. Kari koro kati kala shana. So kama kushimikile fimudi ya muna nikane kari ya mbasi. I was there standing. I said, ah. Why? It is just a language of this world. You can interpret English. Obemba, Okaonde, Tumbuka, Lozi, Otonga. But when it comes to the power, anointing is from above. You cannot access it with your mind. No. It is a free gift from God. To those who believe and accept his word, he will empower you like Elisha. He said, follow me. I'm a soldier of one Sababambo Konko Muntumo. Eh? Go and read the story. Enjoy the power of God, not the title that you are calling. There are people who are busy, you know, working at church because they are holding a position in that church. But after, you know, they are days here on earth, they will go to hell. Do you know why uh, all of us uh, believers? we need deliverance is that what we carry inside what we carry here inside our heart controls our real life if you are carrying evil that evil is an ambassador of Satan waiting for your last day here on earth so that they can carry you and surrender you to the pit of hell if you are carrying the power of God inside you, the power of God is there to represent Jesus when it is time to go, you not even no you just you know, say sweet words, yes oh praise the Lord thank you, God bless you